welcome to Virtual Sky Studios. On this adventure today, for my education of 3D and 2D, we'll go at exploring my mistakes, my mishaps, and my struggles in the attempt of going to create 3D characters, environments, so on. And we're just going to see what happens. I'll have a lot of frustrations, but come join me and let's see what happens. Take care. Ben Sound. Free music anytime you need it. Go to bensound.com. That is bensound.com. Hello, everybody, and welcome back. Uh, so, today I'm going to explain and use the mocap device plugin and how it can help us achieve a 3D character with lip syncing to achieve a short film uh, concept. And so today we're going to be exploring the 3D aspect and uh, so let's get into it. So here we have the mocap device plugin. So let's connect this buddy, this guy. And now, as you can see, we have what looks like you can see me in a, a gray scale. So what we're going to have to do here is I'm going to have to, as you can see, there's a skeleton, it's all wobbly. So we're going to calibrate camera and do a calibration here. Here we go. So now you can see that we have a skeleton and something to work with. And that you can see all down the line here that everything is green. Get into iClone. Here you can see this is iClone. And in iClone, we are going to, to your left, we have the Smart Gallery. And this Smart Gallery, this, this helps you with all your organization of your, your assets. And for today, we're just going to Scroll down here and, and show you that there's some assets and there's some people. So we want to get some characters so that we can puppet them essentially with motion capture. And so take a second to get this done. There we go. So now, we don't click on here. And we have eyeballs. Lovely. They look realistic, don't they? Let's go down this list. Dentures. And we got our, we got our characters. Right? So we're going to go with a male character here. And when, they, when they're loading, you'll see uh, what they call a T-Pose. And that character is in a T-Pose because we need to be able to see how to move the character. So as you see, there's a T-Pose here. And so what I'm going to do is, see, we have different views. Right? We have the back. We have the top. And we have a headshot. 
this is the one that we want. So, now what we're going to do is if we want a full body, we can do this for the side, for that side, the back, and the front. So if we were to go and select him, select, click the selector tool, we go and select him, you will now see to the right of the screen that there's these tabs. So we click on the animate, modify, uh, right? And you'll see that with a, a, the mouse, we can puppet him. And as the screen comes up, it will show, that, show you different ways that we can use. So, say boxing here, right? This is the side, boxing. We'll show you about these sliders uh, later. And then we have the exaggerate. So we're just going to preview this and boxing here. I can do this. Space preview. All right, so we have this, and as you see at the bottom, you see that he is doing that. So now it comes back to the T pose, right? And this is to do with the animation. If you press play, there is nothing happening because we have not chosen anything, right? And we can bring it back. So, but I don't know a lot about this, so I'm just winging it. So, right now, let's do a little, uh, say, a direct puppet. Right? So, a direct puppet is, let's say, the arm here. Right? So, if we were to preview this, right, space bar, we would be using our mouse to control his hand, arm, right? And this is, this is with the mouse, right? So we obviously have him put his hand behind his back, right, or to the side, and up, right? So if we press the face bar again, it comes back to T pose, and, you know, we have the So, we could do the same thing with his head. And it looks kind of weird, right? Back, yeah. And so, if we went with his torso, you see nothing happens, right? Because it's his center of gravity, right? So, and again, it goes for legs, arms. And as you can see, a little dance. A little Irish thing going on. So uh, that's how you puppet, uh, or maybe do a little cleanup bit of your IK uh, So, But if we really want to get into some of the other stuff, uh, there's also the face puppet. And so if we go right here, we now get this screen for the face puppet. And the face puppet, right there, right there, we get to choose these areas. So we have the, the chin, we have these areas, right, that we can face puppet, right? So if we want 
say, let's say it was stylized, right? It would take us to there. And you would see these different presets show up on the screen of that, that uh, morph people, person. We're going to stay with, with Zane here. And so we preview right here. We have that. And we're controlling him with the mouse, right? And we're using, when we click the mouse button, it allows him to click, to, to blink, like it's natural. Right? So that, that's kind of just a neat little thing to be able to do. Now, if I click here, we're going to use these other areas and it will and I'm going to use the strength bar a little halfway and that's going to make things stronger and easier for the mouse to use so let's preview that and see how that works oh yeah he's happy oh yeah mmm yeah that, that's good right so as you can see this makes it you know, easy. So if I go left to right, left, mm, it, it, you see the different expression, right? So, but if I go up and down, right, you see these different expressions. So, and uh, same goes for uh, other, the others, right? And so it's just a matter of strength, time, skill to get these all right. There's little these little things that happen in animation that you may not know as Cabal, the action or, or story or whatever you want, but these matter. So like lips, right? Lips up, down, side to side. Well, doesn't seem to do much, right? But if you add cheeks in, maybe press preview, right? You get a little here. Now, string. If we move the string. Preview it. Hmm. Right, so we have sort of more of a hey, what's up that but with a concerned look, right? So but that is a general overview of the face puppet. Now let's see here. We go down here. to the create script and you get different options here you get a script file that's already been made our audio file and TTS TTS is probably the the one that has the most accurate lip syncing but for right now we're just going to record my voice hey this is a So this is Zane, and we're just using this to test. This is a test of the voice, so let's go with A, E, I, O, U. Recording. All right, so this is, all right, so the recording works. All right, so let's press OK.
did it do anything? Apparently not. So let's let, let's let's try that again. So uh, we're gonna start from the beginning. As you can see, it did work that time. It just takes a few tries sometimes. But how cool is that, right? And so if we zoom out here, right, we can do a, let's, let's, let's get that centered. So let's try for a more device sense here. Now I'm going to mention that if you, if you use this here, this here is when you have a device. I don't have this yet, but if you have Facewear or the Leap Motion Controller or uh, a full motion capture suit, this this is what you would use, right? And of course, you'd get this here and, and a thing here. And so once you get a thing here, a device, you would click and then you would click here, and then you would be able to preview and record. But we don't have that today. Today, we are using this, the device mocap. And we know that it's locally connected, and that we have a full body right now. So I'm going to just get this ready. And let's have some fun here. So look, let's connect. And let's 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 record this, shall we? Now as you can see, I'm now moving my hand. Watch this again. This is a camera testing the uh, lip syncing ability. Testing A, E, Y, O, and U. Alright, so this is C. So as you can tell, we were successful in testing this out. So for more videos, they'll come soon. 
Um, this was just a test. For all of you out there, have a great day. Subscribe to my channel, and soon we'll have more videos. So, take care.